All right, fellow Apex traders, it's Lloyd here. Logan, everybody calls me. Used to be a professional MMA fighter. Everybody still calls me Logan from back in the day. Well, I just passed my 10th eval. And I just want to quickly give you a little story as to how I've done this because I really do believe that there is a means to the madness. Kind of introduced Apex by a friend of mine uh, at the gym, a friend of a friend. And um, never really knew about prop trading before. Really interesting thing. I've been trading a long time, but never short-term trading like this. It's very interesting to adapt to it. Uh, there was a bit of a learning curve. Let's just say that. Still in the process of you know ironing out the kinks of the learning curve. But um, I, I want to tell you my story as to how I started off and how I've kind of adapted and uh, went from simply passing one eval to now just passing my 10th one last night. Hopefully this helps you in some way. Um, you know, having been a long-term swing trader in derivatives and currency markets and uh, equities markets, um, the concept of not planning a trade is completely foreign to me. And so when my buddy introduced me to this, he was kind of the boom and bust, kind of all in, kind of, I'm going to make it or break it kind of guy. He loved those one day pass opportunities and he'd blow through 20, 25 accounts in a day. He's just nuts. He's crazy. He's absolute madness. <laughs> Anyways, and, um, and so I was trying to do what he does and it simply isn't my trade strategy. It's not my style. I like to build out trade plans and wait for things to come to me rather than chasing things. Cause that's how the professionals do it. Right. You don't see professionals just chasing price. They wait for price to come to them and then they, they, they get in. And so after a couple of weeks of blowing through accounts, I actually uh, decided to, um, start uh, trading in a way that makes more sense for my style of trading. And it actually changed everything. So a couple of weeks of blowing through accounts, um, I did get lucky. I passed a single eval, one eval and got a PA account. And I went through the rules of the PA account, not close enough, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, but I went through the rules of the PA account and realized that, that you know there's a, a consistency rule, there's a drawdown rule, things like that. And so I re I changed my, my style of trading to hard stops, hard target targets, planned out trades in advance. So I'm waiting for price to come to me. Occasionally I would jump on a trade if it was in the location, just as I was logging in or something like that. But that would still be, you know, planned out, know where I'm getting in, know where I'm getting out, know my profit potential, know my risk. If I'm scaling in, adding an additional one on kind of thing, where's my scale in, where's my scale out, my multiple targets, everything, having it all planned out. And uh, when you do it enough times, you can do it in a matter of, you know, 30 seconds. You don't have to spend hours on planning a trade. Because the goal really is to get one or two trades a day. That's all you really need. Once you got the PA account and you want to get a paycheck, you really need one or two big, uh, trades a day. That's it. And so I started doing that. And the success in the PA account was so consistent that I started applying it to the uh, regular eval accounts. And lo and behold, 16 days later, I'm past my 10th eval. And these aren't just, well, one lucky break and I passed. These were consistent growth of accounts by basically chipping away. You know, there's some traders out there. Uh, I think it's Paul Tudor Jones, one of the most successful futures traders in history. You know, I made half a billion dollars in a day, 500 million in a day back in 81. And uh, he says in one of his uh, statements in his, uh, one of his biographies is um, basically he says, you know, I, I was never really able to catch the tops and the bottoms, but you can sure make a lot of money catching the piece in the middle. And so in his, you know, not trying to capture the, you know, got to get the whole move. It was really more about just capturing a piece in the middle because that piece in the middle is all you need. And multiplying by contract size, you know, that increases your profit potential, simple as that. And so that's what really made a big difference for me. That's why I passed 10 evals this month. I just passed my last one last uh, night. I guess I have an issue logging in right now, but I'll, I'll get that settled up and then I'll uh, get that one paid for and I'll have my 10th PA. And, um, and that was it. It was really just a matter of changing my trade style, going back to a more conservative kind of, um, you know, it, it's not, you can't brag when you're, not pulling down the $5,000 trade on, uh, you know, in, in one hour or 15 minutes of trading, but you know what, I'd rather have, you know, 20 accounts. I got 10 now, but I'd rather have 20 accounts, uh, you know, that do $300 and make $6,000 in five minutes.
And just because one trade went from entry, you know, on a 10 tick move, you got your, you got your, your, your money in your pocket. That's all you really need. It's really about capturing that chunk in the middle, planning your risk, planning your entries, planning your exits. And so I hope that helps. And I just wanted to show you folks one thing here. So I'll bring this down and see if I can put this on the screen in a way that I'm not going to show my accounts right there. But there you go. So there's my uh, PA accounts. And I just passed my 10th uh, one today, right there at the bottom, or last night. And I've got a bunch more that are on the way. And they're all growing nice and slow and consistent. And that's really what it comes down to. It's, I think the, you know, the, the story of the rabbit and the hare. It's really a true story, you know, slow wins. Um, you might get that one superstar rock star trade, but that's not what that's not what the pros do, man. The pros, they really look for the slow and consistency. That's what you got to do too. If you want to trade and make consistent money in this, you got to trade like the pros. And here's the other thing. You know, a lot of people say, oh, the rules are designed to make it difficult for us to pass. And I disagree with this. I've traded 15 years. And I'll tell you right now, one thing I've learned over 15 years, and I'm not saying... You know, I made money for 15 years. I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in trading. There's no exaggeration to it um, that trading is very difficult. And the, the, the lessons of learning to trading is very difficult. Um, I've also spent over $70,000 in education on trading, on learning how to trade in the process in my beginning years. So understand that there's that as well. But um, the process of learning how to trade and then being able to trade is really about capital preservation and capital preservation is very important. And so rules as designed in Apex, um, as everybody kind of sees them as a detriment, I don't think they really understand what professional trading is like. You know, if you want to trade like a professional, rules are what's the, what, what you have to buy by. You have to have rules. There has to be drawdown rules as a professional trader. There is no other option. Um, you have to have consistency rules as a professional trader. You know, Goldman Sachs doesn't hire the guy that one day makes 10 million and the next day loses eight. They don't hire that person. They want the person who makes that million dollars day in, day out with no more than a $300,000 drawdown. That's the person they want. So if you want to trade and trade like a professional, then I think, you know, you need to understand these rules are, are our benefit. And not only that, they're training us so that, you know, if one day prop trading all goes away, you can crack open your own account because you've been getting paid out by following rules. And you can trade by those rules in your own account. And at that point there, you're going to be able to live off your trading. And that's the whole goal here, isn't it? It's really to learn a skill set, not just to get lucky and hopefully make that, that big payout that one time. It's to develop a skill set that we can carry into our future and, and use this as a trade as a career. That's really what it comes down to. So I hope this is a beneficial video to you. And I hope that, uh, you know, your trading gods are in your favor this week. And um, yeah, have a, have a great week, folks.